And now we will move to today's host. Um, and Lakshmi is the founder of Awake.net and she's been a designer for 40 years and a psychonaut for 20 years. Uh, and she came to the US in 1985 as a grad student in visual communications at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Um, then went on to work as a designer for major healthcare and other corporations like Schwinn, Encyclopedia Britannica, and won a bunch of national design awards along the way. Um, but as an insider to healthcare marketing in that world, she became disenchanted with the system itself. And when she discovered entheogens in 1996, she became a fringe person as she said, for many years. Um, and she started to work to create with brands and websites of change makers in the nascent psychedelic arena, like MAPS, like the Women's Visionary Congress, the Synergetic Press, Crossroads Ibogaine, and organizations like that, uh, while actively seeking to raise her own consciousness through any means or molecule. And since 2012, she is the founder of Awake Media, a coalition of independent contractors, and the executive director of the nonprofit Awake.net, which is the subject of today's launch. Um, and her fun fact is that she's been a student of the I Ching for, since the age of 19 and knows almost the complete Wilhelm uh, B uh, Bain's edition I Ching by heart. And she actually has been teaching me about the I Ching since we met at Rick's conference years ago, and it's been uh, very fruitful for me. Uh, I Ching would help anybody. Seriously, give it a try if you haven't. Um, and so now today's host, uh, Lakshmi, here I am. Oh, thank you for coming. So, um... Um, I want to uh, I want to connect some dots for you in eight minutes if I can, and so I've got this chart behind me. Um, so I think we've become numb to numbers, and here are the numbers. Since 1962, we've known that ibogaine can uh, can cure or help addiction. We've known, and it hasn't been um, rescheduled or researched since 1962. Uh, if you look at how, like about 200 people die a day of overdose. So if you divide that by 24 hours, somebody dies every eight minutes. So I hope to inject you with the uh, urgency that I myself feel about acting about this on this because we've really become used to something being a certain way for such a long time. So the other dot I want to connect is a profit, not profit. Now, Rick was talking about how the profitability and the research and the billions of dollars is a sign of the Renaissance. Um, but the other aspect of it that nobody has really touched so far is the spiritual aspect of psychedelic medicines. And Awake.net is really where I hope to focus conversations about the psycho-spiritual experience in all its dimensions. And those of us who have done taken psychedelics know how profound that factor is for healing, for awakening, for understanding our own consciousness, for evolution, for cognitive um, expansion, you might say. So that's, that's something I hope to do at Awake. Um, the other thing I want to point out to you is that um, psycho-spiritual healing itself, uh, you know, the, the church and the state have been divided for a long time, but when hospitals first started, they were started by churches as charitable organizations. And when they moved into the business sector and became profitable organizations, well, then suddenly uh, your disease is more profitable to, to a healthcare system. Uh, chronic diseases are more profitable than uh, things that can be cured. And so this idea that there is no cure for things has now become common parlance. And I suggest that there is a cure. You can cure things. It's not... Um, Addiction doesn't have to be a chronic disease. It's very profitable as a chronic disease. And I don't mean that the people who are inside of these systems are bad, but the systems themselves, uh, because they're for profit, they create this corruption in, in the behavior that they, that they uh, create. So the third dot I want to connect is uh, the social dilemma. So, uh, if any of you have seen the movie, uh, The Social Dilemma, um, it's a bunch of people who are um, big executives at Facebook and other companies who are talking about um, the evils of, the social, of, of social media. Um, and some of them uh, won't even let their kids uh, use social media. And when I heard that, I kept thinking, well, why won't you let your kids use social media? 
Well, the reason is because if you're not getting the right information, uh, if, if uh, things are being suppressed or snoozed or advanced for uh, advertising or lobbying purposes, then you don't have the dots to connect the big picture. And if, if, if huge populations don't have the dots to connect the big picture, it creates confusion. And we live in a really confused society right now. So, so I decided when I saw that movie, I thought, well, what I want to create something where it's private, where it's ad free, where people can actually commune and get together. And it's a social network that um, uh, is a knowledge sharing platform. And that's what awake.net is. It's a knowledge sharing platform for the entheogenic community. Um, so, so that takes me to FEET and to the, the FEET program itself. <clears throat> How many minutes do I have, Lex? Uh, you have four minutes, but you're the host. You are, you're the one person that gets leniency. All right, so I can, I can take a breath and relax here because I'm racing against time. <clears throat> uh, so I took Ibogaine in 2015 and it was one of the most transformative experiences of my life. And I've had a lot with entheogens. <clears throat> so when I came out of that, that experience, I said to myself, why doesn't the mainstream know about this? Uh, we should do something about it. I decided to make a movie and I, uh, created a campaign for Iberga Saves and, I, and with Eric Thierman uh, from Impact Creative. And we, uh, you know, we filmed, uh, we have 40 to 50 hours of footage that we took. And many of the people that I talked to would say, I would really love to do Albegin, but I can't afford it. So then I suddenly thought, well, what's the point of making a movie about Ibogaine if nobody can afford the treatment? And that's when I created Feet the Fund for Entheogenic Addiction Treatment. And I thought that we would raise money to send people to clinics in places where it's decriminalized or legal because it's gonna be years. It might be a decade before uh, Ibogaine becomes legal and insurance covers it and, and it's inside the system. So that's what FEET is. Um, it's a program where people can apply to get a FEET grant and we would provide a $10,000 grant that would, that would uh, uh, take them to a clinic uh, under the aegis of Dr. Jeffrey Camlet and um, they would do an Ibogaine treatment. We wanna do 100 Ibogaine treatments in 2022 and we wanna record all of them, you know, document them as videos as well as get data from them and put it up on the website and um, also create a protocol for how to do a, an Ibogaine treatment safely. So that's the FEET program and FEET exists inside uh, awake.net, which is a, um, uh, it's a kind of a unique platform. It's a social network. It's a, a online co-working space. Um, it's a crowdfunding platform and uh, a blogging platform and also we want to bring together a group of mentors and masters from all over the world who are experienced with psychedelic therapy, with shamanism, with entheogenic treatments, with integration, uh, with all the things you would need to be able to take huge numbers of people through Ibogaine treatment successfully. And that's the goal. We want to take people through these treatments. And it's not just Ibogaine because Really, when you, when you take Ibogaine, this is what I've heard from many people, if you do an Ibogaine treatment, what happens is that you have, not only have you had a reset, but you have established a connection with your psyche, with something inside of you. And when you do that, you wanna go back into that experience. You want to experience that again, you want to grow, and it's a process. So we wanna teach people how to relate to antigens, how to use them, how to, um, awaken the inner shaman, you could say, and how to integrate your experiences successfully. Um, so I guess that's really what, I, what I'm um, offering. And um, at this point, we bootstrapped awake.net and we've launched it. 
and I have a wonderful board of directors who've joined me in this effort. And, but we can't do it without you. We can't do it without the entheogenic community getting behind us, but we can literally get behind this issue as a community and create a web presence on awake.net for the entire entheogenic community so that people will come there and they can learn all about it. And um, my goal is to quicken a transformation in consciousness because I think we really need it. That's where we are as a culture, that's where we are. So please donate, please join. And uh, if you have any questions, um, reach out to me or to anybody on the board. Um, thank you.